pulled is inconsequential, right? Uh, I do yeah. see it. But like, we can reposition it, put orcs around it, and that's what they'll deposit in. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's fine. We rolling? All right, very nice. Okay, so we're on day six, I believe, right? Okay, yes, yeah, day six of this lovely uh, fantasy. Um, and uh, we, we've been so far, we've been a few different locations. Right today, we're, we're two weeks out in Tula, Utah. And uh, we have lots of log cavity interiors and lots out in the field killing works and stuff. So, on this shot. I just want to talk about really fast is a replication shot. So what we're doing is our heroes in the hole need to pop up and kill all the orcs. Now we only have what, one, two, three, like six orcs to work with right now because that's what we roll. So what we're going to do is we're going to replicate their position, change up their outfits, change up everything, so that when you, when it's finished, we're going to have a whole line of orcs. Now the best way to do that is take the camera and lock it off so it doesn't go anywhere. That way, when you go, you don't, you don't have to have to do it this way, but it's the most straightforward. Um, especially for the main master plate. Probably should start dressing this. And then, um, you ready to go what ready happens to is, is you take all your, your group of orcs, you mix them up, Isaac. you put them in a different spot, blah, 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 blah. And in After Effects, you start layering things. Now, what you can do is you can take it and green screen it so that you can overlap them too if you want to get complex, or you can roto with it. That takes forever in a day. But, uh, that's yeah, so what you do when you don't have a crowd of people and you need to have a whole crowd of a whole horde of oak orcs coming to destroy the, the town. That's what, that's what you do. So I'll have to show you the finish shot when it's done. <laughs> Ta -da. What's your favorite movie? Okay, we're still on day six. six. Day six. Day six. Yes. Here with Rusty. What's happening? Everybody. Who plays the ever popular, ever loving hero. Quiet but strong. New action figure due out 2013. Look for it. Look for it. Look for it. So you get to see uh, Rusty's um, uh, Dragon Slaying skills. That skills. That's what I was going for. Skills. An upcoming action sequence. Elf Princess luring skills. I love it. I love it. All the above. So you stay tuned. Yeah. We're going to look. We're going to talk about lights now. Okay. Good job. All right. Check it out. Okay, so Kyle over here has got us hooked up with 1200, jumping into this bounce, going into the window. Thanks, Kyle. And then we got some. Yes, sir. Rehearsal is over here. And another 1200, acting like the sun coming through this window. You're almost there, right? You're not there, there. All right. So, I don't know if you can see me or not. We're in this nice little room here, and uh, we get to light this little fight scene between an orc and an elf. And we have, like outside I showed you, we have a 1200 coming through this window. And there's Kyle again. And this window is just kind of getting a little bit of volume from that bounce. And this is cranked way hot, but we're going to take it way down for some fill, because our our orc guys are super, super dark. Their faces are way dark with the masks. So, what's going on? Um, the Chiquito is going to help fill that in so we don't lose their eyes and all the detail on their masks. Whereas the 1200 is going to act like the sun, so we have a little more control about what exactly is going to be happening. You can see out there they're practicing their ninja skills. So, uh, that's what this little lighting setup is looking like. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me, Mike? You love our lighting videos. All right, you can see the very small space to do a fight scene, and very small space to hide lights. Uh, camera's going to be something like uh, this. There's not going to be too much of a master shot in here because there's not enough room. And it's a very short scene. Probably just do single for the orc guy, single for the elf girl, and then I think I'm going to do an over the shoulder of the orc guy basically knocking out the elk, elk girl and taking her captive. So we'll see how it goes. Yes. Uh, more lighting setups to come. Oh, it's gone. This is Joe, who does sound. Nice to meet you. YouTube. Hi, YouTube. So what we ended up doing 
is basically removing this keno for this scene and I just opened up the window a little bit. He made it a little more dark and contrasty for the scary scene. I don't know where we're gonna drop it. Um, we gotta pick a spot on the floor that looks decent. And then And in here, there's Kyle again. We had we had a scene where the orc comes in and enters this way right here. And to give it some nice rim when he walked in, we had a Kino living right where that door is that was pointing on the side of his face. You can't really see it so dark on the side of his face. 